this video, we'll show you how to use Microsoft's Immersive Reader when you are using the Microsoft Edge web browser. This tool is available in Microsoft programs such as Word and OneNote. Additionally, you can find many other programs that utilize Immersive Reader, such as Newzella and OneDropless. Immersive Reader works best on Microsoft Edge when you are trying to read an article but not all of the tools are available just because it is an article. For example, I've pulled up this article on CNN. By right-clicking, I can choose to have the article read aloud to me. Maria who was Puerto Rican. Some of the other valuable tools are missing though. Now let's take a look at this article on Newzella. I can have it read aloud, but this book icon in the address window indicates that I can do even more. When I click on it, I automatically go into Reader View, which takes away the extra distractions that were in the sidebars. It also adds some options in a top menu. I can click on the text preferences and change the size of the text. I can also change the spacing. And I can change the background behind my text to make it easier for me to read. Another option is to go to the grammar tools and I can change the page so that it shows the syllables of every word or I can indicate the parts of speech. And the last tool that's available to me is the reading preferences. I can choose to focus on particular lines so that I can either see five lines at a time, three lines at a time, or one. Another great tool is to use the picture dictionary. When I am scrolling along with my mouse, anytime that I see a star, I can click on it and I can see a graphic that explains what the word means. And lastly, I can have a page translated into the language of my choice. So I can click on a particular language and I can click to translate the entire page. So as you can see, the Immersive Reader has a lot of tools that can help students who have difficulty with reading or who are learning a new language.